Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Steph the Chemist. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe to my channel. Today's another gameplay. Welcome back to episode two of Bella Goth. Is she happily married? In this episode, we're gonna check out Dominic's family and his situation and why he's seeing somebody else as a married man who has two daughters himself. If you go back to one of the renovation videos, I'm going to insert it in here. Dominic and his wife, Moira, a lot of costly renovations to their home. I'm sure maybe that's part of the reason. Try to total the amount they spend on renovating their home. Seem to be a substantial amount that they spent. Is that why? Hmm. I'm going to add up also the amount that they spent on the renovation and how much they're worth now. As far as I see, they seem to love each other. But why will he stray so easily with somebody else that's also married? Nick belongs to the club, the Good Timers. In the opening act in the entertainment business, his wife, Moira, is an anther artist. And anther is the part of the stamen of a flower where the pollen is produced to children. Ayuben, who's an office assistant, Morgan, who is a high school student with a C grade. It looks like this family is well off, a big home. It's spacious, it's beautiful. I'm not sure about the decorations. Oh, look at the bill. It's 5,000 simoleons monthly that they spend on bills. Wow. I'm sure 5,000 a month is not that much, but when you think about it, they don't make that much money to justify for that monthly cost. They have a big house, so I think they need to scale everything back. Anyway, so it seems that Maura wants a new baby since all her girls are grown now. I'm sure he would do whatever to please his wife, but I'm not sure if that's what he wants right now as he's seeing Bella on the side. But don't forget, he said no to Bella when she wanted to have children with him. Seems like his mind is in the right place, but not his heart. I'm very sure he loves his family, but maybe he's just done with his wife. He just wants to move on to something else. You want to ask yourself, once his wife has a baby, then what? They get divorced? I mean, what is it? As most parents do, they need to discuss to do about the new bundle of joy, money, and etc. Older daughter who lives with them needs to get a job. She needs to move out and be independent. The discussion with Saiban went pretty well. Dominic is making her last meal at home. She seemed excited to get a new job, move out, and she's definitely going to miss her parents. She's pretty excited to start her own thing. And obviously, Dominic and Moria will give her a down payment on her new home. It's going to be a tiny house in New Crest. It's one of my quick builds. It's affordable. She can afford it. So that's where she's going to go live. She's truly lucky to have such generous parents. They're definitely going to miss her. And she's definitely going to miss being home. I'm going to do like a little quick adjustment to this house and prepare for the baby coming up. It's Winterfest with the Friars. They're spending quality time with each other. This is before the baby arrives for them. Enjoying good food and exchanging gifts. 
Whoa. The baby's already here. Oh, it's a baby boy. How cute. Okay, so I find it kind of weird that we just had a baby and Bella Goth just called asking me for my advice if she should have a baby with her husband when we're having an affair. Um, no, ma'am, no. So it doesn't take me that long to age up baby sims because it's just too much work. I'd rather have them be a toddler than anything else. And baby Jared, it's a lot of work. And it looks like it's causing strain with both parents. They're not even sleeping in the same bed together. That's just weird. It's the same bed, but they're not really like together together. Oh boy, it's Bella again asking about the baby thing. No. Or does she want a baby with Dominic? But trying to do a reverse psychology on him saying that it's her husband who she wants to have a baby with i mean what is going on with her with all the responsibilities and duties around the house I can definitely see that dominic is stressed out and needs some time off so he's gonna get a babysitter when moira leaves for work and go have some sexy time with bella hopefully there's nobody home in her house I mean, geez, if her husband and her whole children are there, I wonder what's going to happen. <laughs> this guy has a lot of cojones just walking into someone's house when I know who's going to be there. Crazy. Before he breaks up a marriage, let's scan the house and see who's home. Okay, there you have Alexander looking up bella's upstairs cassandra is in her room on the computer and crap mortimer is here he's down by the chess game well dominic is headstrong he's gonna computer and crap mortimer is here he's down by the chess game well dominic is headstrong he's gonna do what he's gonna do let's see what happens he's obviously gonna chit chat with mortimer just to, you know friendly banter back and forth and then guess what he is going to look for Mortimer's wife so they can shag. I think it will be okay if things went down in Cassandra's room and her bed instead of her married bed. I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of weird, but it is what it is. Wait, let's find out where Mortimer is before we get caught. It's all fun and games until there's anger and fights going on. I mean, in Dominic's perspective, Bella has been calling him all week wanting a baby. So I think it's time that he gave her a baby. I mean, she called for it. She wanted it. And there it is. <laughs> Oof, he almost fell asleep with her. It's time for him to get going to his own family. It's too dangerous for him to sleep here. Just in the nick of time, is Mortimer going to confront Bella for what she's been doing? And on the next episode, we'll see how brazen they've become. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Post every Sunday. So come check me out. Thank you. Bye.